What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be continuing on with Teon and leveling up. So today we're going to be really focusing hard on trying to get as many levels as possible in the short amount of time that we can. And let me actually turn on a little bit of the music because obviously it sounds a little dead right now. So we found Eric and we are preparing to take down some of Atelia's men. So, uh, obviously not going to attack. There we go. Casiel, are you sure? Uh, Rhoda has returned to the fight against evil. That's This is wonderful news. Uh, thank you for helping uh, him. The monsters are uh, ferocious and I might die if I confront them on my own. So, okay. Uh, the monsters have gotten even stronger. I would suggest you train um, before taking them on. Magic will help you in ways uh, more than you can imagine. Uh, to the south, there is a magic user named Gulvig. Uh, she lives alone and much like Rhoda keeps to herself and her knowledge in the magical arts is strong even the monsters fear her it is said that she came to the land of Eden uh, which would explain much of her powers uh, I've heard rumors that she would teach adventures in the ways of magic and from time to time perhaps she can sway her to teach you all right so we are going to go to the magic owner shop. So it's just showing us all the different shops, which I kind of find cool. So we'll just continue on our way there, and we are going to get some magic. Because I think with being an elf, we get a crap ton of magic. Like, because we are uh, allowed to get some at level 8. So. And yeah, let's chat with her. Attila has uh, powerful armies, but the world bleeds. His power only brings destruction and fear. Casil, great power should only be used to protect hope and not satisfy greed. I hope you remember this. A desire is not enough to embrace the skills to use magic. Casil, I need you to prove that you are capable of harnessing the courage and bravery to use magic. If uh, you don't, you will be consumed by dark the darkness. To the southeast there are zombies, so defeat three zombies. Okay, and actually, let's see if we can buy some spell books. So we've got shield, energy bolt. Oh, we actually don't have enough to even buy anything. Ooh, I'm probably gonna have to uh, start uh, doing the good old uh, trying to level up a little bit more. To the southeast, you said, right? Up, up, up! We got attacked. We're getting attacked by a spider. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! No! Oh! Oh, we died! Damn! Fucking spider just kicked our butt! Holy crap! I did not expect that! Wow! Well then, uh, we might have to, we might have to do the good old leveling a little bit there. Cause that was a, that was a little tough battle there. Holy crap! I did not expect that. All right, well, I'm gonna do a quick cut over there again, and we will continue on. Okay, so one of the things I'm learning is that obviously I think I'm a little under leveled for that area. Those spiders are really kicking my butt. So what we need to probably do is we need to prepare ourselves. So I'm checking how much gold I have real quick. I think we have enough gold. Yes. So we're going to use the end real quick. Uh, we're going to stay a quick night here just so I can uh, try to, let's see, going to target location requires, oh, written oath, okay, which I don't have. All right. Well, it's all good. Uh, so basically we're going to just uh, do some farming, basically try to figure out some different things that we can do here. Uh, we're basically going to try to get ourselves up to 500 uh, gold so that we can get the healing spell and then from there we can learn how to heal and then also get ourselves just up in general a little bit higher. So uh, right now this is not the area to actually be leveling at. These guys give really no experience at all. So we're probably going to be going to the north probably killing some of these dwarves. These dwarves drop, drop a decent amount. I think they drop roughly yeah 10 per person um, and then up here if any other players are running out and about I'll help them out because there are some sort of uh, friars and stuff and dwarf warriors that drop a really good amount of stuff 
So if I were to like attack this dwarf, I can maybe take him on, but when it comes to two of them, that's where things get a little rough. So, and then if I just go here, let's try magic. I don't think my magic does that much, to be honest. I think my actual base attack does more. Not sure though. Might just be me. There we go. So, as you can see, they, they give you 10 gold as well. Uh, stone golems and all that probably give you a little bit more XP, but honestly, I'm kind of afraid to fight those guys. They're pretty scary. And then uh, what we can do also is we can get real quick some potions. So, I think I have some heavy healing potions somewhere. Yeah. So, we'll put that on the bars now. And there we go. So this will be a little bit longer of an episode, but that's fine. Shows you guys a little bit more about the game. Now, if I were to face the spiders with these potions, that's probably the way to go, but I also want to grind out. I want to at least get to level 15. So our goal is to get to eventually level 30, and then we can start showing you a lot of the cool stuff. But for this episode, we're going to be trying to strive for 15, and then we can continue on with our quest line. There we go. Gives you an essence of a polymorph. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Kill some more of these hobgoblins here. Like I said, they really don't give that much XP. I'm more here for the dwarves. But I, I always like games I grind. I like most people get annoyed by it, but I actually I actually enjoy these games. Like I actually enjoy like leveling up, figuring out different ways to level up. Things of that nature. This energy blast skill, though, not so good. I don't like it. And just killed that real quick. There we go. And how much gold have we gotten already? We've already gotten a decent amount of gold, so we can start getting those uh, sort of uh, spells and things. So we're just going to keep on going. Wow! But, um, I am excited because there is a dungeon, and I think we're getting, we're getting, we're getting close. We're going to get there, so. That's sort of the goal is to get you guys to see the dungeon and everything. But, I think for a long drive, this game would be, like, perfect. Like, if you're, like, sitting there and you're having, like, a three-hour trip to, like, Florida or something like that, like, this would be the perfect way to do it. Boop, boop, boom. I gotta figure out, what are these ancient coins that they keep talking about? Are these, like, sellable? Oh, I have to identify them. Oh. Well, we'll do that real quick. Because I need to know what the heck these are. Ancient coins that you can trade to merchants. So we could probably trade a bunch of these, because these probably aren't worth crap. So, we'll just kill a few more. I want to at least get to 500 gold, and then we'll actually go sell some things. That's the goal. So right now we're at 379. Let's go back up there a little bit and see if we can't kill something a little stronger. And see if we can't get ourselves up to almost level 14. Kill that guy real quick. Bam. All these uh, ancient coins, or ancient platinum coins, nice. Don't bother attacking, I, oh. You carry no gold, alright. Well, I mean, that's one way to tell me. Alright, kill this orc fighter. Orc fighters typically drop some good stuff, honestly. There we go, that guy dropped a crap ton of stuff. Man, if I could find more of them, that'd be nice. Is there anything else up here that can really help me? Anything? Where are you? Oh god, my mortal enemy. <laughs> a lesser leveled one, but... Oh god, I think I picked a fight I can't win. Alright, this, this is a big boy. Alright, we'll just continue leveling. Or keep continuing healing and everything. 
I want to see how much XP this guy drops, because are these guys really worth it more, though? Hmm, that's a true question. Ooh, wow, he gave a crap ton of stuff. Alright, well, I know I can handle one of those guys now. Let's see if we can't get ourselves up to level 14 real quick. Ooh, a slime. I don't like slimes. Kill the floating eye. Oh! Wow! Well, we picked a fight with an Elder Mage. It's probably a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, well anyways. We've, got, we've returned back to the town. I think we got plenty of gold, right? Close enough. Alright, let's go sell some things and get ourselves uh, more geared out here. Go into the shop. Go into the shop. All right, let's chat with her real quick. Yo, yo, yo. We got some things to sell. Oh, can I only sell these? Damn. It's probably the only thing we can sell, can't it? True. All right, let's see if we can't uh, find some other vendors. Maybe there, there's some other vendors that maybe take some other stuff. That guy looks pretty cool. Uh, purchase a sealed oath? Nah, let's sell some things. Yeah, we'll sell some of these stuff that we have. Uh, I don't want to sell my arrows or candles. Oh, okay, so this is like, oh, okay, so this is like a, uh, how do I explain it? An auction house. Interesting. Teleporter. Sky Island teleporter. Didn't mean to click on you. Let's chat with you real quick. So you're a crafter. Uh, warehouse. What, what can you do? So we can deposit some stuff. Interesting. Weapon shop. Can I sell anything to you? I can sell this axe. That'll work out perfect. What about you? What do you have? So, we're basically just going to do a, a quick round of shopping and everything and get prepared for everything else in here. So let's talk to her real quick. She might have some, some stuff that she wants. Yeah, you want that orcish mail? I know you do. Hey. Alright, so I've actually found out where I can turn in those ancient coins that I've been collecting so many of. There's actually a merchant down here right next to the gift emissary, and if you actually talk to him, he'll mention that you can buy stuff with platinum coins. So because we have at least like a thousand, I think, we can actually go ahead and buy some different things here. So I'm looking for a really powerful thing here. So let's actually look at what powerful spells we can get. So holy weapon, we can get that at level eight. Enchant weapon at level 16. Cure poison. We don't. We are not really dealing with poison at the moment. Teleport. Ice dagger. Wind shuriken. Chill touch. Enchant weapon. Let's see, that's one we could probably get later on. What about class-wise? Is there any class-specific spells we can get? Resist magic. So, we can change stuff. Teleport to the world tree? Oh. Triple arrow. That's level 30. Alright, well, let's see if we... I know for a fact we probably want our lesser heal, so that way we don't have to pay for... Uh... So, we'll buy one. And we'll probably get lesser heal, and we'll get... Mm, well, we can't get enchant weapon or anything. Uh, and then let's see what else can we get here. Scrolls? What sort of scrolls can we get? Teleportation, polymorphs. Interesting. Well, there we go. So we have that, and then what we can do is equip this lovely book here. And obviously learn our healing spell. 
So this will make it really easy for us. And how much does this heal for? So it heals a small dose of damage and will also deal damage to undead characters. Ooh. So if I were to use heal, I would probably... Okay. So cool, cool, cool. We are learning some new things. All right, so we're going to grind out a few levels here and we'll see how things go. All right, so we finished up our quest. I basically went to the north and just killed a bunch of zombies that were kind of up here. Uh, they were a lot easier than the ones down here, because down here, just everything was aggroing me. So uh, we're going to use the teleporter, though, because I'm lazy and I don't feel like walking all the way back. So what I'm just going to do is we'll do the spell book shop. And boof, we're there. And let's give her a good old chat. Hey. Uh, before you leave, one more thing I wish to share with you. Um, as you know, King Atelia's men is hunting down King Arthur's bloodline, and since you are one, uh, you must be very careful if you choose to share that information. Actually, King Arthur's, I'm actually I am King Arthur's daughter. I went to the Obosola Temple when I was young to learn magic, and while I was there, King Arthur, my father, built the Tower of Babel, leading to his imprisonment and allowing King Atelia's men to take reign. King Atelia's men know that if any of uh, my father's children come out of hiding, his rule will be challenged. Before we begin, it is not fair for you to, uh, to know who I am. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. The power of the dark magic is too strong for me to overcome. Uh, to the northeast until you pass the mountain range, then continue southeast of the uh, Promised Island until you find the pet farm. There are some monsters, but none uh, seem to attack the farm. This tells me that there must be some sort of uh, secret magical power, one that might be able to help you out with your destiny. So, next time we're going to be going to the pet farm. Uh, I'm going to be probably leveling up a little bit more, but overall, doing pretty well. And before we know it, we'll be probably hitting level 30. I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this has been a quite a long journey, and I'm definitely learning a lot as time goes on. But I'm really appreciating this game and playing it. As time goes on, it's really growing on me. And I, I'm appreciating a lot of this stuff because it's not too big of a grind. And I took a big risk uh, trying to add this game into my YouTube channel. But overall, I'm really impressed with it, and I really am enjoying my time with it. And the fact that it's a mobile game, it just makes it 10 times better. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.